Greg Weatherby, a chemist with the USGS, was researching nitrogen pollution in rainwater samples when something else caught his eye. I was pretty amazed to see all colors of the rainbow in terms of microplastics. He found plastic particles in the rain that fell in Colorado in 2017, shards and fibers so small they could only be seen under a microscope. You can see a pollen grain on the right, and here's the piece of microplastic. Weatherby says that plastics can break down over time due to aging and the friction of weathering. And when you're dealing with particles that small, they could probably be found just about everywhere. There's more plastic in the environment than what meets the eye. Weatherby found microplastic contamination in 90% of the rainwater samples they collected. Maybe not too surprising from urban and industrial areas like Denver, Arvada, and Boulder. Where it was really surprising is when we started to look at samples from the foothills and from Rocky Mountain National Park. And when you see microplastics in a place like that, then it makes you think that these materials could be everywhere. Nearly 11,000 feet up into Rocky Mountain National Park is certainly far from the urban centers where plastics prevail, but that plastic footprint may be even larger. On Wednesday, another research group from Germany announced that they have found these microplastics in the snow around the Arctic. That's an incredible discovery because uh, now we know that these particles are transported in the atmosphere a very long way. What impact these microplastics may have on the environment or on human health is still unknown. Weatherby says we must first determine how much microplastic we're dealing with and where exactly it's occurring. He believes his data is a step in the right direction. So maybe it will give us an awareness for how to make plastics better, how to use them wisely, and how to dispose of them appropriately. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.